hardly anyone listens to CDs anymore. That's why we're seeing manufacturers move towards digital media receivers, like Pioneer in their MVH-S622BS. This double-din digital media receiver has everything you really need for under $150. Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary, Pioneer Smart Sync. Plus, it displayed some seriously impressive power during our testing. Stay tuned in a few minutes for that. Inside the box is a wiring harness, external Bluetooth microphone, hardware, Warranty card. Instruction manual. Honestly, I hate this new roadside map that Pioneer gives you these days, Jesus. And doubled in stereo. Since this is a digital media receiver and has no disc loader, it has a shortened chassis with a depth of about four inches, making installation and tucking wires behind the dash much easier. The rear connections include radio antenna, Sirius XM, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, Bluetooth microphone, wired remotes inputs, and three sets of four volt preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer. There are a few key differences between the MVH-S622BS and the very similar MVH-S600BS, which we've previously reviewed. For the 622BS, Pioneer completely redesigned the stereo with new command button locations. They also added Pioneer Smart Sync compatibility. This forced the new design with the navigation button. In addition, Pioneer added a quick access bass control button. I personally like this new design better. The other difference is the MVH-S600BS comes with a wireless remote control and the 622BS does not. Pioneer SmartSync was specifically designed for Pioneer's non-video stereos. We've gone over Pioneer SmartSync before, I'll put the link in that full review in the bio. Download the app from Google Play Store or App Store. Once you connect to SmartSync via Bluetooth or USB, you will have access to your music sources and apps. iTunes, Google Music, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, anything that you have downloaded onto your phone. The navigation button takes you out of SmartSync to your chosen default navigation app whether it's Google Maps, Waze, or Apple Maps. Music still playing, of course. Use voice recognition for messaging. Also now works with Amazon Alexa. You can even adjust the illumination colors on the stereo from the SmartSync app. The stereo itself is stylish. It has a convenient rotary dial that some of us can't live without and has unique display controls with dual zone color illumination. So you can select custom colors for the keys and display, set them to the same color or scan them both together. Enhanced Bluetooth provides hands-free calling plus wireless music streaming. You can also play music connected with a USB cable via iPhone or Android. Both Bluetooth and USB provide music tags, but the USB also enables a charge to your phone at the same time. With a thumb drive, the stereo can play back MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. Bluetooth and USB give you control over music apps like Spotify and Pandora and your music libraries. The MVH-S622BS is also Series XM ready with the SXV 300 v one Universal Tuner. Add steering wheel control with the ASWC1 interface, both links in the video bio below. Next to the front USB port is a 3.5mm auxiliary input for high quality audio playback. The MVH-S622BS's variable audio settings start with a 13 band EQ with presets and customization options.
Let's test this receiver out and see what it can do. Pioneer rates this stereo 14 watts RMS by four channels at four ohms. The first test we ran was two channels driven. At two ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 49, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 30.34 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.17% distortion and 7.72 volts of output. We can switch between left and right channels and see the differences. Our AMM1 read 26 watts. We got 7.73 volts on the Lumi and we drew 7.41 amps of current. Two channels, 14.4 volts, 1 kilohertz at volume 51. Our HP picked up 31.21 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.9% distortion and 7.8 volts of output. We can switch between left and right channels and see the differences. Our AMM1 read 23 watts RMS. We got 7.8 volts on the Lumi and we drew 7.29 amps of current. Down to single channel driven, 14.4 volts, 2 ohms, 1 kilohertz, at volume 51, our HP picked up 31.68 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.56% distortion and 7.89 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 24 watts RMS and we got 7.9 volts on the Lumi and we drew 3.92 amps of current. Single channel driven, 14.4 volts, 2 ohms, 40 hertz, at volume 49. Our HP picked up 30.4 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.28% distortion and 7.73 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 28 watts. We got 7.75 volts on the Lumi and we drew 3.98 amps of current. Single channel, 14.4 volts, 4 ohms, 40 hertz. At volume 50, our HP picked up 20.43 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.18% distortion and 8.97 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 18 watts RMS. We got 8.99 volts on the Lumi and we drew 2.51 amps of current. Single channel, 14.4 volts, 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz. At volume 52, our HP picked up 21.07 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.67% distortion and 9.1 volts of output. Our AMM1 read 15 watts. We got 9.12 volts on the Lumi and we drew 2.47 amps of current. Two channels, 14.4 volts, 4 ohms, 1 kilohertz. At volume 52, our HP picked up 20.93 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.94% distortion and 9.07 volts of output. Let's swap channels. Our AMM1 read 15 watts. We got 9.09 volts on the Lumi and we drew 4.39 amps of current. Two channels, 14.4 volts, 4 ohms, 40 hertz. At volume 50, our HP picked up 20.12 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.6% distortion and 8.9 volts of output. Let's swap channels. Our AMM1 read 17 watts. We got 8.92 volts on the Lumi and we drew 4.46 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp output voltage at volume 62, 40 hertz. We got 4.83 volts with 0.054% distortion. Let's swap between left and right. At full volume 62, 1 kilohertz, we got 3.89 volts with 0.038% distortion. Our final test was on frequency response using the preamp outputs. All tests were done with a flat EQ.
This stereo performed incredibly well and exceeded expectations. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.